It is great to meet you. So, so good Leslie to meet you too, Mike. Connected us yeah. So what do you think of the conference so far? I'm having a great time. I love that we get hype with data first thing in the morning at SES every year. Peter Ostro always does his thing and it's yeah. super fun. So um, always good to kind of like get our heads on straight first thing in the morning before we jump into yeah. all the amazing content that everybody's sharing. So and breakouts. What are, what are you speaking on? So I am speaking on using boundary setting frameworks to help kind of keep your team on mission um, to make sure that when we get pulled in all these different directions by stakeholders and everybody else right. that's kind of got their fingers in the pot, yeah. we have some tools that we can use to say, whoa, we need more time. We need more resources. We just can't do that thing that right. you want from us. Um, so just giving everyone a little bit of a framework to establish those boundaries and keep our teams on mission and keep our people from burning out, right? Because the yeah. last thing that we want is our enablement team to be feeling like they're under the gun all the time, that they're getting pulled in 17 different directions. So as sales leaders, sales enablement leaders, we can protect them yeah. by being that leader who sets those boundaries and gets everybody above us and to our left and our right to agree to the same framework. It was one of the cool things that came up even yesterday just at the social mixer, how many folks are struggling with decision making, yeah. struggling with um, being, com having, being comfortable saying, or, getting comfortable with saying no to others when people keep exactly. adding new things exactly. on top. So what, what did you get out of the first session this morning? I think the biggest things that I took away from that are one, people are tired of talking about content because it was the last yeah. subject that, I, that the group wanted to talk yeah. about. Um, but two, I think really what I took away, and I'm surprised that I'm saying this because I think it's a little bit of hokey, but AI is already here. And I think Peter did a good job of just illustrating that if we don't start thinking about how we're gonna start leveraging yeah. the next generation of technology, we're already behind. So that was a big takeaway for me because it's something I've sort of looked at and dabbled in and sort of started to understand. But I think a lot of people are sort of like, do we put our toe in the water? Right. Do we dive in head first? Yeah. Um, and kind of figuring out where we wanna land with a lot of the tools that are out there. So I thought it was really nice to kind of wrap everything up this morning with that nice, nice little bow of, this is all good information. But if you're not getting ahead of the AI curve, you might already be behind. What do you hope to get out of this week? Ooh, that's a great question. I think for me, Gail did a great job of highlighting this as well. The community of the Sales Enablement Society is part of why I'm so involved. Just being around other people that understand what we do all day long. <laughs> we don't have to explain ourselves, but just connecting with people face to face, learning from other people, and just kind of having those aha moments when we connect with each other, when we find out what other people are up to, um, that's always exciting for me. That's one of the cool things that I'm seeing too. This is the first time I've been to one of the sales enablement um, experience conferences. It's the, you can feel and sense the community. You can feel and sense how excited people are about helping others and understanding, be, uh, being really clear about who their customers are, the people that are sure. out there selling the people who are out there working with customers, the people who are customer facing are their customers. And that was, that's cool to hear it get reinforced over and over and Absolutely. over Absolutely. I think you'll hear a lot of presentations that week that use that framework, right? We're a business within a business. Yep. We're a consultancy with one customer. I even have that in my slides. Yep. Like the sales teams or whatever customer facing roles that we support, those are our customers. And yep. so being in a room full of people that understand that is so refreshing because it's like we're all steering or rowing our boat in the same direction. Yeah. So it's awesome to be here. I love SES, I love the whole organization. I'm just really psyched to be here. <laughs> the, so like I said, first time I've been here, one of the things I will tell you as a sales leader, if you're out there looking at your sales enablement or enablement professionals as order takers inside the business where you can uh, just pass on anything that you would put into a miscellaneous folder onto them, right. you're doing it wrong. Lead better. Be really clear about what your goals and objectives are, how those align with the goals and objectives of the business, where you need support, and what type of questions you have. Partner with the enablement professionals that are out there. Absolutely, and I like to keep it really simple. It's all on our business cards, right? Sellers need to sell, yep. managers need to manage, and enablement needs to enable. Yeah. It's right there, it's that simple, and I think as we connect with more sales leaders who are maybe just coming around the bend on what sales enablement is, that's as simple as it gets, right? Yes. So our job, our role is to help sellers sell better, to help managers manage better, to help leaders lead better. That's, yes. that's what we do. Yes. We're sort of like that 
that little piece that pulls it all together. Um, and I think it's going to be amazing to see where we go from here, yeah. right? Enablement's been through this, the name of the conference, the evolution. Yeah. And I think we're all finally coming back together on where enablement is headed, what it should be, what it could be. Yep. That's what I like to talk about. Um, and as we get the ear of those sales leaders who maybe aren't familiar with what sales enablement could be for their organization, yep. I think it's going to be a rising tide that raises all ships. We're in San Diego. I'm using a lot of maritime <laughs> analogies today. <laughs> awesome. Make sure you follow Fiona. If you have questions, add them into the comments. Yeah. We'll go around and we'll ask some other people. If there are people who you know that are at this conference that I should be talking to, make sure you let me know that too. And if you are at the conference and you see me push this live, make sure you come into Fiona's <laughs> session here. In, at 11 o'clock. Yep. In just, just an hour. hour. An hour. I'm going to go have some more coffee so I can be bouncing off the walls. Mike, it's always good to chat with you. Thanks so much. And uh, this conference is going to rock. <laughs>